system kind of puts on what is admitted and what is not admitted. And I wish that these people uh, not just paid attention to the verdict, but paid attention to the process and to the job that was done on both sides of actually presenting uh, a fair case and have my opening saying that I feel that based on what I saw and heard, the charges should never have been brought in the first place. You now are in a very unique position because on the one hand, if you and your brother... I think I, I heard your intro and I think that you're being light-handed in comparison to people like Alan Dershowitz, who say that the only person who should be facing jail time in this situation is Angela Corey. She should be disbarred, and she should be sanctioned. Uh, I think that's... Well, you know, and that's yet to be... Uh, and as a judge, whenever there is evidence that the defense is entitled to have, and she showed her hand, Robert, by firing the guy who said, wait a minute, you've got to give this stuff to the defense. I mean, she's in big trouble as well. She should be. Sure, that's my understanding of uh, Professor Dershowitz's opinion. But uh, tying into that, our family, uh, I made a statement on the one of the courthouse asking the state of Florida to withdraw an improper charge. It was an improper charge. Legal minds such as yourself uh, can wrangle with some of the minutia involved in understanding why it's an improper charge and why we only prosecute when there's probable cause and we don't play hide the ball with evidence. Um, I don't think that that's necessarily uh, the mindset of some of the people rallying. I think they're offended on an emotional level. And I don't begrudge them for that because they've been misled for so long and they have this legal answer that's... How do they be misled, Robert, if, if they saw all the evidence? Um, if we had the trial, it right. doesn't mean necessarily that everyone uh, witnessed the trial the same way that a judge or a former prosecutor or an attorney would and understood some of the... Uh, situations that were happening there, even in the pretrial hearings. All right, let, I want to move on to the more personal stuff. Uh, what is your brother doing, thinking, feeling tonight? Uh, respecting his privacy, he is, in, in a word, resting and recovering. This is the first day that George has been free uh, in a long time. And I think that we all live our lives as free people, and we have an understanding of what that means. Uh, but today, that was the first day uh, for George to enjoy his freedom. It's like a breath of fresh air. As you look at that uh, on that screen, those people gathering, are you afraid for you, your family, your brother? Uh, that looks to me like a peaceful demonstration. Uh, nonetheless, we're threatened constantly, consistently, and in very violent, vicious ways on Twitter, on other forms of social media, through emails that I get. Um, I am concerned for George's safety. He's concerned for his and his wife's safety, and safety of our family has always been our foremost concern. Mm -hmm. You know, Trayvon Martin's mom and dad, I mean, they lost a 17-year-old son. He was unarmed. And as you look at this case, it, 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 there's a great deal of sympathy for me. For Trayvon's family? Well, there has been. Uh, in in uh, September of 2012, we released a statement. I flew to Los Angeles, actually, to release it uh, live, uh, specifically directed at Sabrina and Tracy and to Trayvon Martin's surviving family members. There is a great deal of sympathy, and it's not just from our family, it's from George as well. All right. Uh, Robert, thank you for being with us this evening. And uh, coming up, the DA who went against Pot Boston. What does that tell you about Special Prosecutor Angela Corey? And vote in tonight's Instagram. Do you agree with the Zimmerman verdict? Facebook or tweet me at Judge Janine. We're going to read your answers later in the show. Stay with us. Can vitamins melt into tap water and flavor? Yes. With nature made vitamins. Melt in your mouth vitamin supplements. In flavors like creamy vanilla and juicy orange. Irresistibly melty. Nature made by melts. Get a coupon on our Facebook page. Take me in and tell you something I'm not And I'll never desert you.
countries. People thought we were crazy to give you unlimited long distance. Crazy generous. Feel free to talk at Barnes.com. No matter what, people can count on me to get the job done. So when my prostate cancer returned, my doctor told me that this time could be different with ProVeg, a personalized treatment that lets me count on my own body to fight back. ProVeg is clinically proven to help extend life in certain men with advanced prostate cancer by taking your own blood cells and reprogramming them to jumpstart your immune system so it can attack your prostate cancer. ProVeg can cause serious reactions, including those resulting from the infusion and stroke. Severe but infrequent infusion reactions include chills, fever, fatigue, weakness, breathing difficulties like shortness of breath, decreased oxygen, wheezing, dizziness, headache, high blood pressure, muscle ache, nausea, and vomiting. Tell your doctor about all of your medical problems, including heart problems, lung problems, or history of stroke. Call 1-8-Doctor and find out if the time is right for ProVenge. ProVenge, helping you help yourself. Talking about the way back. 18. This week on Infraxam. Not guilty. 